Hello everyone! Today I'm going to take you to a field trip to see some natural hazards. And the first natural hazard we're going to see is an atmosphere. So first, so we're going to go to our first stop right now to Miami, Florida, where a recent hurricane just happened. As you can see right here, Miami is near water, which is where most hurricanes happen. Hurricanes form on warm waters, which which makes sense why Miami was infected. To know stuff like hurricane patterns, you have to make sure to, it is actually easily trackable for all those hurricane patterns. Like which way it blows is pretty much the same way where the wind will blow. It blows the same way where wind would be blowing. Since Miami is near the ocean, it is pretty obvious that most hurricanes will happen right here, especially when it's at the Caribbean area right here. It would make a lot of sense on how it will easily be hit with hurricanes, especially when most hurricanes happen at the Atlantic Ocean, and most hurricanes would be blowing to from the Atlantic Ocean to the east coast of the US. So now let's go to our next location. Montreal, Quebec, where, where a recent flood just happened. As you can see, Montreal is surrounded by water from here. This is a lake where recently Montreal was flooded, overflowed with water, where it was where the recent hydrosphere just happened. Think of a flood as something like an overflowing amount of water put it in a cup as you can see Montreal is next to water which is what happened recently in 2017 when there was a bunch of rainwater flow uh, all over Montreal and the city next to it Laval which overflowed the amount of water the patterns of seeing a flood is very simple technically is seeing how much water is coming in and seeing how much is going up. When waters go around the, on the street, it is best that you shouldn't drive, considering that it could be like a wave and it could actually ease, and the strength of the water going through can easily uh, can easily push your car. If you're like in a road like this right here and the water suddenly just flood all the way like up here, it is actually easily it's very dangerous. And the water overflowed the city because of it. And it is best to stay, uh, stay away from the water as much as you can, so, so you don't get hit by it. And so now let's go to our last location where a lithosphere called an earthquake, that where a place happens often called Tokyo, Japan. Earthquakes are very often in places in the Ring of Fire, like Japan. And I'm using Tokyo as, as an example. Places like these, like these, are victims of the Green Fire. Earthquakes can be can be thought of of something like when a ball hits the ground and bounces, and this is what this is technically what an earthquake really is. The pattern of an earthquake is when a fault starts moving around, and it actually starts shaking the ground. Since we are small, we can easily feel it. In situations where ring, where this happens, make sure to have food, water, first aid kit, and a radio. Earthquakes can happen anytime. So I thank everyone today for coming along to the trip, and it's time to say bye.